everyone it's me sherry welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have a haul video for you guys and it's quite a big haul um just stuff that i've been accumulating online and stuff over the last few months this is probably going to be the last one for a while i have a couple things that are coming in like my boxy lux and uh a small order from elf but other than that, I haven't really... There's something else that I'm looking at on Elf, though. There was a new palette released today. A Retro Tropic palette or something. Retro Paradise, something. I don't know. I have my eye on it, but I don't know. So, anyway. Um, the first thing that I got is from BoxyCharm. And it was from the pop-up shop. And I just grabbed this. It's just a BoxyCharm uh, Razorback t-shirt. Razorback tank top. So I just grabbed that. It was like $9 or something like that. So I just got it. Then random stuff that I'm going to show you guys. I got some off Skintastic Family Care. If you guys can think of more of a natural thing. Because I know, well, for one, this probably isn't cruelty free. But, um, because it's Johnson & Johnson. I don't think they are. But anyway. Um, if you guys have like a natural fly repellent, let me know. Because it's black fly season and it's crazy out there. This also is in cruelty free some of these products are just anyway and i'm not even going to go off on it it's saint ives energizing coconut and coffee scrub deep exfoliant and leaves skin fresh and glowing are you supposed to use this on your skin on your face i think it is supposed to be used for your face but i grabbed that i just you know i thought it was interesting um, I got two sponges from Shoppers Jugmer from Quo. This one is, you know what, now I get to open these. <laughs> okay, so one is the airbrush sponge. It looks like this. It's baby pink. And it looks like it has like little fuzzies. 23 hours later, I get the packaging open. <laughs> I'm going to end up having to start like up stuff for like packaging and stuff now too. All right, I'm going to try to get through this. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, oh, oh, I want to try this. It's like velvety. Yeah, I want to try this. So that's that. I'm going to put it over there. I also got another one. This one is the double duty two-in-one applicator. So it's, um, I should have my little snippers for this stuff. <sighs> four and a half hours later this one's in a purple color okay this one feels like a normal blender on one side like a beauty blender and then it's silicone on the other so i think it'd be good to put your foundation on this tap it on your face and then blend it out so i'm interested to try those i'm gonna throw that packaging over on the bed so i can clean it up i got two brushes from elf I got the ultimate blending brush, which is what I meant to get the first time, but I ended up getting the, actually, Mike picked this out, the airbrush blender. He found this at Walmart, and he's like, what about this one? Because I was looking at different brushes. <laughs> I forget what I was in the, what I was over in that section for anyway, but this was just like a couple days ago. Things are starting to open back up. But um, I'm still not really venturing out too much. Trying not to anyway. But this is what this one looks like. And it has like a crystal, crystallized handle. I don't know. Bronzer maybe. But this is the one that I tried to get. Because I think I, I think Jessica Braun talks about this one. This is the ultimate blending brush. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice for bronzer. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just going to put it back in its protector because I'm going to give those a wash. Okay, now let's get into the more makeup items. I picked up the Catrice HD Liquid Covered Foundation Mattifying, so I can't wait to try this. So I'm going to probably going to do an all drugstore video, kind of like I did an all like new high end stuff, like new to me. I picked up Luminoso in both the baked blush and the liquid lipstick. I'm going to have to, I'm not going to, this is old, so I'm not going to swatch this. Um, Andrea Matiliano said that these liquid, or not, it's not a liquid lipstick, it's a gloss, but she said they're like the Fenty glosses, so I'll have to give that a try. I picked up the Primer Infused Bronzer from e.l.f., and I got the color... 
forever sun-kissed. Hopefully this is going to work for me. As you guys know, I do try my best to pick up cruelty-free items. I don't always succeed. Um, but makeup-wise, in the stores, I'm really trying really hard. And um, since I love butter bronzer a lot, but now Physician's Formula apparently isn't cruelty-free, so I need to find a replacement. So hopefully... Oh, this might do it. That might do it. We'll see. We'll we'll test it out. I'm going to get rid of the packaging. <laughs> All right. I also picked up, this got ruined. I, I think it fell out of the bag and Mike kind of ran over it with the shopping cart. We were grocery shopping at Atlantic Superstore. And I went over to the CoverGirl section and I grabbed the mascara. I never had a chance to use it, but I hear this one is good. The, yeah, see the packaging's all scratched up. Mike ran, he accidentally ran over it with the cart, but it's not like, it's not broken and it, the, it's still sealed. So, um, the exhibitionist mascara, I hear it's really good. So I want to give that a try. Okay. I picked up a couple of palettes. I showed this one in, uh, Instagram story. This is the Revolution Flawless Forever Flawless Unconditional Love Palette. Now, I watched a video on these palettes, and the girl that was doing the video, I can't remember whose channel it was, she said that they are a cruelty-free brand. So, anyway, this kind of looks like a dupe for... A lot of people say this has a lot of the similar colors to the Natasha Denona Love Palette, but that's what that looks like. I haven't had a chance to use these yet. I really, I'm really backed up behind, and I also picked up... The, on a different day, the Roxy Roxaurus Collection Color Burst Palette. Just another brand that I'm trying to test out. Is it just called Revolution here and then it's called Makeup Revolution in the States? Is that the difference? Because I noticed in the UK it's just called Revolution as well. I don't know. But anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. Love this. Because you guys know this is like my favorite color. And this one, like I said, this is the Color Burst one. And Color Burst it is. Look at that. It's beautiful. Can't wait to play with that this summer. That silver down there on the bottom is like, it's like a silvery blue. It's screaming my name. That's called Sky. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have fun with this palette. I love the peaches, too. Sorry if I'm blinding you guys. Okay, and then I went, I'm sorry if I'm like, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, I went to a store in our town called The Bargain Shop. I forget what I was looking for. Um, Mike was in the bank, and I think I just went down there and popped in. But they had they had these sleek kits here, and I know these were out for the holidays a couple years ago. But I looked at the batch code, and they seemed to be okay. Um, I think Sleek, I'm pretty sure Sleek is cruelty free, but anyway, I picked up this. It comes with an eyeshadow palette, a blush palette, and a highlighting palette. And you just, it retailed, it said $30 on the sticker, but I only paid $18 for it. So it comes with this really pretty box that you can reuse. It has like a magnetic closure. And then it comes with your three palettes, which I'm probably going to throw away this I'm not gonna throw away this reusable box because I can use this for something but I might hold on to all this packaging because I might do a video specific to this I don't know yet if you guys would be interested to see that let me know down below but this is I mean it's an older set and people have talked about sleep before so okay this is the eyeshadow palette and this is in vintage romance which I don't know if it's typically my colors because it's a little dark but there's what that looks like yeah I'm going to hold on to the packaging for this just in case I do a dedicated video to this but I don't know because this is the highlighting palette in solstice and I know people have talked about this in the past sorry the packaging is really reflective but these are three powder and then a cream highlight so that's what that looks like And then the blush palette. There's one color that's straight up yellow, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but I could probably mix it in with other colors. But there's what that looks like. See, that's like 
straight up mustard yellow. <laughs> but we'll try. And like I said, I'm going to hold on to the box for now and the packaging just in case you guys want me to do like a tutorial or like a video just with this palette. Let me know down below. Um, you can probably get all these products at Ulta. So I'm just going to put that back there. <laughs> okay, and the rest of the stuff that I have is actually high-end stuff. One is a teeny tiny Sephora order where I order one thing. And the other is from Winners, stuff that I picked up. I'm so happy Winners is open again. <sighs> I love Winners, but I'm not going to be going in there much because there's always like quite a bit of a lineup. I had to go into our mall because my ring... My rings have to be checked every six months, and June is one of the months, so I went in to see if People's Jewelers was open, but it wasn't, so I have to wait, so I just, I hopped into Winners while I was there, because there wasn't much of a lineup, so I only picked up three things anyway, I know, um, so the first thing I got was a lip gloss, and what are these called? The Watermelon Candy Finish Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Bump and Grind. This is from the Tutti Fruity collection. We don't have an Ulta around here, so we never got Tutti Fruity collection here. Um, so now we're getting it at Winners. But I looked at the batch code on these, and these are like newer products. They're from like 2019. They're not like brand new, but there's what that looks like. And I mean, they're just open now, so. And then I picked up one of these. This is the Tutti Fruity twinkle twinkle liquid glitter eyeshadow and I got the color ice cream I'm so happy to be able to throw all this packaging away guys because this has been bugging me it's been building up look how pretty that is you guys know Mike found this when I was going with a pinky color Mike found this you guys know I'm gonna go with the blue if I found found a blue you guys know how much I love blue and like turquoise so this is more of an eye topper but isn't that pretty? Ooh. Love the packaging on this too. This is pretty with the stars. And then I found this little gem. I, f I forgot to tell you how much you paid for these. These were $6.99 each and this was $19.99. This is the Razzle Dazzle Berry. Which I think this retails for like, I don't know what in the States, 40 maybe? 30 some? I don't know. I know it's way more like in Canada, but this is what this looks like. This is so pretty. Oh, I, there's a little card in there. I got to remember to get that out because it's suggestions for eye looks. And this smells like berries. Mm, it smells like raspberries. And there's what the colors look like. So it'd be interesting to see if they did purples good. This hair color looks beautiful. I can see me wearing that all over the lid all the time. <sighs> I love Too Faced anyway, you guys know that. Then I placed, like I said, a small Sephora order for one thing because it came back in stock and I tried to order during the uh, sale and it wasn't there. So my samples were this uh, Sephora Ultra Glow Serum. I got that. And then I got a Vitamin Glow from Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, Vitamin Glow. And then I got, what is this? The Gentle Synthel Effective Wishful Yo Glow. Apparently I got a lot of glowy stuff, but anyway, I got that. So what I placed the order for was the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. I don't know what it is about these colors, but they just spoke to me. And I seen, you know who I look for eyeshadow palette reviews from? most and I know probably everybody has a go-to but Mel Thompson if she likes something I tend to like it and I know that I can trust her because I know that I like stuff from her recommendations from her in the past like the mercury retrograde palette and she raved up this one so I had to get this one too but I don't know what it is like I'm not really big on greens but these romantic pinks and these colors are just beautiful they just spoke to me I had to get it so I didn't touch this yet, so of course, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I have to work with, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, that is everything that I got over the last couple of months that I was waiting for orders to come in. Everything is pretty much in except for one 
like I said, one small elf prop order. And I don't think I'm going to be ordering anything more. Star! So I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul video. I know it's been long. <laughs> I talk a lot, and plus I was opening packages. So, yeah. I apologize for being overdrawn with it. But if you guys have any requests for anything that you've seen in this video, Star! Sorry. If you have any requests, I think I might do a full face of drugstore stuff because I have a lot of drugstore stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye everyone.